Look up at the sky. It's a bird, it's a plane. No wait, actually it's a drone. And now it's a submarine. The U.S. Trademarks and Patents Office greenlit a patent application for a rapid deployment air and water vehicle, aka a remotely operated flying drone that can dive underwater. According to Boeing, the patented craft could be carried into the deployment area by a host aircraft. The remotely piloted drone would then detach from its carrier and fly on its own. When required, it could dive into the water. To reduce weight and to optimize the drone's hydrodynamic properties, the craft would shed its wings and propellers using explosive bolts and water-soluble glue. Once submerged, a set of waterborne propellers and control surfaces would appear in place of the detached wings and airborne propellers. The drone would be ideal for undersea reconnaissance. While underwater, it could deploy its payload of supplies or weapons. Then, once its mission is complete, the drone would surface and communicate the data it collected to other drones or to a command center. India's Cochin International Airport is set to become the first in the world powered entirely by solar. Situated in Kochi, the airport handled 6.8 million passengers last year and forecasts over 330,000 ton reduction in carbon emissions over the next 25 years as a result of the switch to solar. The new 12 megawatt peak solar plant stretches across 45 acres and is made up of more than 46,000 photovoltaic solar panels that are located alongside the cargo terminal. The airport claims that the power it generates each year would be enough for 10,000 homes. In combination with the pre-existing solar plants, the plant is expected to make the airport completely carbon neutral. The company says the mitigation of carbon emissions over the next 25 years is equivalent to planting 3 million trees or not driving 750 million miles. The plant took six months to build and cost $10 million, with the airport expecting to recover that outlay through energy savings within five years. The solar plant is also expected to generate more power than is required to run the airport, which will be connected to the grid to allow excess power to be sold to the state electricity board. You'll never want to go back to traditional selfies again. German company Dube 3D recently set up shop in New York City where anyone can get a tiny figurine made of themselves, connecting the innovation of 3D technology to consumers and their everyday lives. Customers are taken into a small booth, the Duplicator, that's fitted with 54 DSLR cameras. The data from the images is then processed and sent over to the company's printing facility in Brooklyn, where printers run around the clock. Color is built into the process, making the finished figures strikingly realistic. The resulting mini-me is then delivered right to your doorstep. Dube also has locations in San Jose, LA, and Detroit, and is expanding to Japan. The company originally developed its technology to scan cancer and stroke victims to be fitted for prosthetics. Now it's revolutionizing the selfie. As if our generation needed any more narcissism. This one's super weird. Ring's video doorbell allows you to see and speak with visitors that are at your door via your cell phone, no matter where you are. The video doorbell connects to your home Wi-Fi network, but is now activated by the way of built-in motion sensors rather than when the button is pressed. This allows you to be notified of visitors immediately and you can hear what they're saying. The video is recorded in HD and has night vision capabilities. Cloud recording allows all HD video footage captured to be saved to the cloud, accessed from anywhere via the accompanying mobile app or a computer, and can even be shared with others. The Ring Chime is a ringer that plugs into a power socket and sounds when the Ring doorbell is pressed so you don't miss a visitor if your phone is in another room. Snag a Ring video doorbell for $199 and start creeping on your visitors. That's all for this week's episode. Be sure to check in on Facebook and Twitter and catch past episodes on wirelessdesignmag.com. For the WDD channel, I'm Sarah Goncalves. Thanks for watching.